Welcome. Welcome. My name is Drake, and this is Touching the Edge. Hope you're doing well. Uh, here in in, the, in Minneapolis, it's raining this morning. We've been getting a lot of rain. It's really nice. I'm a little bit damp. I'm so happy to see you here today, and I'm so happy to see you because this is about shifting toxic opinions. And so I want to ask you a question. I want to ask you a question. If this were the last day of your life, if this were the last day of your life, if the last moments of your life, what do you think your focus would be? What do you think your focus would be? Do you think it would be your politics? Do you think you'd be focusing on whether you're a Democrat or Republican? What do you think it would be? Do you think it would be your sexuality? Would you be focused in your last moment on your, in your sexuality? Or maybe your, your sense of, of gender? Would it be your anger towards people? Would it be, ang be would you, would you want to pass out of this world angry with your family or, or, or people in the world? Do you think that's the best way to pass away? My perception is that it's not. I personally am very connected to my history with race and the history of my family and the people I've come from. I'm very connected to that. It's been such a huge thing. You know, people have been very clear about reminding me of my race throughout life. Yeah, I, I grew up in a very racially charged situation. However, I don't feel that will be my defining characteristic as I leave this world. Even though it's very important to me, it's not the foundation of my being. A lot of people think that they are their opinion, like they're so focused in their opinion. It's like having a pair of glasses on, like say you have purple sunglasses on and everything you see is tinged with purple because that's how you're viewing the world. You're viewing the world through that lens. I wanna suggest connecting with people through your essential humanity. Your, and even beyond your humanity, your essential state of being, you know, so that you are connected to other people through that essential experience of being and then coming to the particulars, your race, your gender, whatever you feel is most important. You can always see, as an example, with, you know, comics. You know, comics will tell you what they find is their essential characteristic because their whole Routine will relate to that, you know, if it's their weight or their race or whatever. So I want to suggest to you that you remember essentially who you are is a, a walking miracle. And who you are essentially is awareness. Everything else comes after awareness. If we recognize that, we understand that our opinion is not the ground of our being. Opinion is something that helps us feel like we know what's going on. In this miracle where we don't know what's really happening or what happens to us after we pass away, we keep ourselves comfortable by thinking the same thoughts over and over and over again. So consider today being really, really, really present and then going from there. I thank you so much for your time. Let's truly be present to our lives today. I'm going to ring the bell. I'm going to ask you to listen carefully. Here we go. My suggestion is that you're not essentially Russian or Chinese or American. You are human. I bring my hands in the prayer position and I bow to you. Namaste. Thank you.